Hi, I'm Matt from ePipe Mods. Today I want to do a video about uh, short circuiting pipes, uh, how to avoid it, the primary cause, and the short circuit protection that is actually in the pipes. Uh, this is a very important video if you're going to be purchasing one of our pipes for the first time. It's incredibly important that you watch this video, so uh, keep watching. Alright, so here we have a standard tank cartomizer. Now, these are probably uh, the biggest enemy when it comes to shorts on our pipes. Um, they're very cheaply made. These things cost less than a dollar a piece. Um, so the insulation between the center pin and the, um, the outer part of the cartomizer is not very good. Uh, so when you go to, when you get one of these, you're going to want to make sure that the center pin is not pushed off to the side like that. Oftentimes you'll get them in and the center pin, center pin will be pushed off to the side. That's an automatic short right there. So you want to move your center pin to the center uh, to where the, this metal is not touching the outer metal. The next thing you want to do is if you don't have an ohm meter, you need to buy one. Uh, you can either get a multimeter like this or an ohm meter like this. Uh, these are a little bit harder to find. Uh, Mad Vapes carries them on occasion, but um, if, if you can't get one of these, definitely get one of these. Uh, what you're going to want to do is set your multimeter to the ohm setting and to 200. Once you've got that, you want to take your prongs, and it doesn't really matter which one goes where, but one of them is going to be touching the outer metal of the cartomizer or atomizer or rebuildable atomizer, tank, whatever you're doing, uh, you're going to want to do this test. Um, then the uh, positive cable you hit and you want to look at what your ohms are. Now this one is set at 2.2 ohms. You want to press on it a little bit and see if you move that center pin in if it's going to drop the ohms and this one is good. So this one I can go ahead and screw on a pipe and have it fire and vape. Now here's an example of one that is shorted. Um, so I'm going to put one of the leads on the outer part of the metal and one of the leads on the center part. Now when I press in, it drops down to two. Two ohms is way too low. That's a dead short. And the reason I'm pressing in is because when you screw this into the pipe, it's going to put pressure on that center pin. <clears throat> and just the slightest bit of pressure is going to drop it down to a dead short. If you have a dead short on your pipe, um, you can press the button a couple times, right? And it will work fine if you take it off and try something else. So if your cartomizer does not work, atomizer, rebuildable, whatever, after you press the button a couple times, uh, take whatever you're using off and try a different atomizer. These are uh, reusable, resettable vape safes. So, um, you know, they'll trip more than once. So this, this will work even after having that hard short cartomizer on there. Now what happens, unfortunately, often, is if you have a bad cartomizer on your pipe, and you keep pressing the button and you keep holding that button down, you will destroy the vape safe. Um, the vape safe costs $25 to replace. So if you have a bad cartomizer and it destroys the vape safe and it has to come back and we have to rebuild it, it'll be a $25 fee. So there you have it. That's how to use an ohm meter, how to test your uh, atomizers and cartomizers, rebuildables, whatever, uh, before you stick it on a pipe. Uh, I re actually recommend getting a multimeter over the little ohm meter from Mad Vapes. These things are nice for uh, RBAs and stuff like that uh, because it makes a little stand. But this will um, test your batteries and tr help to troubleshoot mods if you have a problem with mods. So this is like 15, 20 bucks at Walmart or Home Depot. Uh, go pick you up one. It's a necessity for vaping. Um, <clears throat> another thing you want to look out for, uh, especially for you Genesis users out there, if you try to uh, 
wrap an ultra low resistance coil. Um, anything below 1.5 ohms will trip the vape safe circuit. So uh, keep that in mind for Jenny users. If you blow the vape safe, there's a $25 fee to replace it. Um, and if you're using any other mod, it doesn't really matter what the mod is. The risk for short circuit is always there with these uh, cartomizers and and uh, other cheap atomizers and stuff that you put on there. So it's a good idea. It doesn't matter what device you're using to ohm it out, see if it's working correctly. Our pipes do have the vape safe in it, which protects you from venting, but other devices may not have protection, and you could be looking at a short circuit, which leads to uh, possible explosion in some devices. So. Uh, be safe. Uh, if you do have a device that uh, doesn't have short circuit protection in it and you would like it, uh, you can always get a vape safe for it. Um, they fit into most any mod and that can help protect you as well. So, vape safe, uh, check your ohms, and thanks for watching.